Hello everyone and welcome to a new video here on my channel and the very first nail video with my new camera. The one that I posted where I did a makeup tutorial, you guys seem to love the quality. Now I feel like it might not be as easy to see the good quality, I don't know, we'll see. Again, I'm not 100% sure about the settings. It might be a bit blurry. But a few times I will really try to uh, keep up with the um, focus, but it's really hard to learn a new camera, you know? <laughs> um, but I'm so excited in this video. I could not wait a second not to film this, honestly. So I found this uh, gel kit, super inexpensive. I think it was like, ten dollars ish and i've seen a very similar um product from kiss which for those of you that live like in the states i think that kiss is more of a brand that um you can't get a hold of but here in sweden at least we have a nail brand called the pen it's like the the nail brand that everybody uses but mostly like nail polishes but they have just come out with some gel kits and gel polish things so i really wanted to try it out as you guys can tell here uh, I have gotten so much nail stuff that is very expensive. I have mostly things from a cart and it's not an expensive brand, but I mean a big lamp like this and um, this e-file and all of that gets quite expensive to be honest. But I really wanted to see if you can get a gel kit for $10 at your local like beauty supply store and you can actually make good gel nails so this is like a does it actually look good or does it actually work <laughs> kind of video so ten dollars uh let's try it out this is the the pen gel kit natural look in square they also had like almond i think at least i'm not sure about any other shapes but you can always just like find them whatever this little kit contains six grams of sculpture gel which is interesting, what is that even? Because we also have 10 milliliter, milliliters of gel activator. So you don't use a lamp with this, uh, you only use this gel activator. I have no idea what it is. Two grams of pink glue and a pin. I don't know. 44 French look nail tips, one orange stick and two nail files. So you put the nail glue on the tip and uh, put it on and then you go in with the gel apparently and some sort of spray bottle <laughs> which is the gel activator apparently. So I'm very intrigued. I feel like a kit like this is so nice for those of you that don't want, um, you're not really interested in nails but you still want to be able to do it at home for a budget or on a budget you know. Okay, so here we have some tips that are looking weird, <laughs> right? They look yellow, <laughs> but maybe it will look good. I don't know. I'm not gonna judge it. I really feel like this is uh, going to look great because the pen is such a great brand. Um, I've actually been a model for one of their uh, nail polishes kits, so yeah. So here we have the gel activator. Interesting. The sculpture gel. We have some glue that apparently is pink, it said. Yeah, pink nail glue. All right, we have two files and one of these wooden sticks. Okay, let's see. So we have a file to shape the nails and then we have this to buff it. And is this something? What is this? Ooh, it's for the nail glue. So that is all you need apparently to make some really cute gel nails. But as I have some extra stuff, I do want to fix my cuticles with my new cuticle bit and e-file from a cart. So I'm just quickly going to do that and uh, then we're then that's it. So the cuticles is fixed and now I'm just gonna go in with the, I think the white side, yeah, this one. And I'm just gonna rough up my nail bed a little bit. This is uh, something that you do to make the product that you put on 
stick better, but it doesn't damage your nails if you don't like go in way too hard. You just want the uh, uh, oils and like the shine of the nail to go away. <laughs> oh, here's the instructions. I was like, why is there no instructions? <laughs> All right, so they actually do um, say that you should clean your nails if you have a nail polish remover of some sort without oil. Uh, this is just a nail cleaner. It's just alcohol pretty much. So I'm just gonna go in with that all over my nails. So let's open these up. So we should have 44 ones, I think they said. This is too big. They actually feel really nice and like thin, which I like, too big. So as you guys can hopefully see, it fits there and it fits right there. So number three is great for my thumbs. Now let's find the other ones. So there we have them. So we got this little pin so we can open up the glue i mean i guess it's for that maybe not <laughs> maybe it's just to like close it now when i think about it put some of this pink glue on it very intrigued why it's pink if that should like help with something like that now for this finger whatever that is called in english so there we have all of the tips on and now we're going to close this nail glue with this little thing now actually i've never seen a cap like this on a nail glue so i'm very happy about it also i'm keeping all of the nail tips right here and i'm gonna keep all of the stuff there as well so now in the instructions it says that you should just make sure that it looks effortless um, where the tip meets your own natural nail. So I'm just gonna file a little bit here on the top and a little bit on the sides. Uh, start with the four fingers and lastly the thumb apparently. Apply a thin layer of the sculpting, sculpting gel along your natural nails and on the tip. The gel should not touch the cuticles and then spray the nail one at a time at a 20 centimeters off stand. <laughs> Never spray more than once. Okay. Three layers is what they say is the best. I'm a bit nervous actually. <laughs> I'm very interested in seeing how this sculpture gel looks. If it's just like a normal gel or, oh. So it looks like a nail glue. Let's do this and don't touch the cuticles and then spray the nail i don't know how good that was oh it kind of like burns a little bit i don't know about that i don't understand how this can cure without a led lamp honestly oh that felt a lot better honestly I feel like I'm getting the hang out of it. Hang out of it? Hang of it. Mm. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it does, ooh. It actually stings a little bit when I spray the thing. There we go. Now for this one. How do I know though if it is <gasps> oh, that actually hurt like a lot what is it in here i'm scared oh well now let's do another layer i guess <laughs> ah it stings oh fuck, fuck 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 i'm not getting it on my cuticles i promise okay that felt okay it also felt okay some of them doesn't uh, hurt at all. <gasps> yeah, now it's hurting. Okay, I don't know if you can tell, but it doesn't look very nice. This one looks kind of nice. So I'm just gonna 
go in with the last layer maybe a little bit more than I have used before then how do I know if it's dry honestly oh it's starting to hurt now uh, like m seconds after I just sprayed it so weird let me just go ahead and do the rest of the nails and then I will get back to you all right so there we go I actually added four layers of the uh, sculpting sculpting gel the gel is very thin so I wouldn't say that the shape is optimal but also I wouldn't say that it's horrible I mean for like a do-it-yourself kind of thing at home it doesn't look that bad and also these are not that long so you don't need a huge apex and I actually do think that it blends in quite well together with the tips it doesn't look that weird from far away now I'm just gonna file them with this side uh, just for the shape and then I'm going to add um, a file it with this one first then that one and then this one to make a very polished shape and then we are going to use some gel polish just because it's not that fun to just see a video like this right <laughs> here we have the finished nails and i must say they're looking pretty darn good right like from far away they look really natural they look really pretty you can't see the tip um that much honestly it could just be like a natural tip I think it looks really really good and i probably could have done this in like like 50 minutes maybe i probably could have done this whole uh set but it did take me like an hour because i really wanted the filing to be as good as possible and also it does take a lot longer when you're filming i am going to go in with the the pen gel french pink and then i have two macard gels uh in oh here we have it 13 and 25 and i'm just gonna do a um, an exact same nail uh set that i did on my sister a couple of days ago where i also used the french pink from the pen and this color you guys it's a milky pink and it's so pretty if you want like a natural looking nail now a top coat and then we are done and there we have the finished look just gonna add a little bit of cuticle oil and there we have the finished uh, look i would say i mean this is a kind of like a review it was super easy it was super quick i didn't love the application but that's just because i can apply it in a better way with other products and i did feel like the gel was very much like just like glue i don't really know if it is just a glue but for a do-it-yourself at home completely like amateur kit you don't need to have any knowledge at all about nails it was so so simple i don't know how long these will last but i will keep you guys updated on my instagram so be sure to follow me there but i really hope that you guys have enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed my video I hope that you guys have an amazing day.